Girl, I can't lie. Hi. <laughs> so today I'm going to film a how I film my videos video. A lot of people have asked me what I used to film or what lighting I have or what tripod I have, how do I do everything, blah, 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 blah. So I thought it was a good idea if I just do a video explaining what I do. So I said I was gonna do this video like seven months ago, so let me keep my promise. <laughs> so yeah, in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys what I use for my equipment and which equipment thing I use to film which video and how I like to film my videos. I'm also gonna have some tips on what you can do to film better. I feel like in so many people's videos, they're just not really informative. Like they just say what they use and that's it. And that's not, that's, you, you can't do that! I'm also going to do how I edit my video video in the future, maybe like a month from now. But today we're going to be focusing on the film. And if you're new to my channel, you should definitely subscribe because... I don't know. So, let's get started. For the equipment, okay. I used a Canon camera. I used the Canon EOS Rebel T3. I didn't really fuck with the settings too much. I just changed the white balance setting from standard to daylight. All my videos are filmed in the daylight setting. My camera was like 280 something dollars. I don't know, but it's like 280 something dollars. I got it two years ago, but I think it's worth it because the camera comes with the body, the lens, a USB, the charger, the instruction manual, and the CDs. It's a really nice, long-lasting camera. You don't need the 70D. Well, I really want 70D, but you don't need it for like your first camera, you know? And I'm not saying go out and buy this camera. Please don't. So the next thing I use is my ring light. Fun fact, I actually have two ring lights because I broke the first one, the one that I got for Christmas, and I bought another one. Okay, <laughs> that was about $70, and it came with the little connector joint that you attach the ring light and, to and the camera to, and it also came with a connector joint that you attach the ring light and the stand to. I would say if you're gonna spend a lot of money on something, make sure it's the ring light because hell, you can have the crappiest quality camera, but if you have good lighting, then it's all good, you know? <laughs> oh my God. The next thing I bought is a tripod. Anyone who spends $200 on a tripod is a fucking idiot because you don't need to spend that much money on a tripod. What's the job of a tripod? To hold the camera in place. You don't need a $200 tripod because a $20 tripod can get the job done, you know? A tripod is $20 that I got from Target. Like, you don't need an expensive tripod. And lastly, I have a stabilizer. I don't really use this often. I only use this for, like, lookbooks and first person morning and night routines, but that's about it. So a stabilizer is basically like a handheld tripod that you can use to have really stable shots with. Right now you're seeing a shot where I didn't have a stabilizer, like no stabilizer whatsoever. I'm hand holding it. I'm trying to be as, sta as stable as possible, but I don't think it's working. Now here, is a shot with me using a stabilizer. As you can tell, it's just so much smoother, so much nicer. But a stabilizer is great, but it's not like a must have. Okay, so for the types of videos I film, I film morning routines, night routines, hauls, makeup tutorials, reaction videos. So I'm basically doing sit down shots like this all the time. So videos like intros and outros, hauls, like the talking part of the hauls, um, makeup tutorials, this is my setup. Like it's just my stand, my camera, my ring light, then on the side you have my viewfinder. My setup is a bit different when I have my makeup videos. When I have my makeup videos, I usually take my desk, which is located around here, I turn it, then I face it towards here so I can have a flat platform to do my makeup on, then my ring light and my camera is behind that. For outfit videos, I usually film on that wall. I just turn all of my equipment around and I film on that wall. <laughs> For my morning routines, I use my stabilizer, which stabilizes the shot. 
it's pretty self-explanatory actually yeah so that's really how i film it's not difficult all i have to do is set everything up and hit the record button record what you want hit the record button again to stop the video then you just edit it editing is a whole other story that i'm going to get into in another video but that's how i film now for the tips <laughs> this one is a given always make sure that your video is in focus and i know when you have a camera that doesn't have a viewfinder in it it gets a bit difficult but there is a way that your laptop can kind of be your viewfinder and i'm going to teach you how to do that right now so basically you take your canon camera and you take a laptop and you take a usb that would connect your camera to the laptop and then something's gonna pop up on your screen saying some blah 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 click on camera on shooting mode then go click a button that says live shooting something then once you click that button you're gonna be able to see yourself on the laptop and that's how I make sure my videos are in focus I know I already said this but this is probably so important spend your money on a ring light not the camera because lighting gives you good quality you know for example Here's a picture of me in really bad light. But I used my iPhone 6S. And here's a picture of me in really good lighting and I used the same camera, iPhone 6S. Lighting makes a difference. So make sure you buy good lighting. You don't need an expensive camera. Third tip is to find someone that would help you film. I never do videos like lookbooks because for lookbooks, you really need to find someone to help you film. And and for every video, I have a vision. And when and whenever I try to put that vision into words and tell people how I would want the video to look like so they can film it, it just comes out as gibberish and they don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm just like, get really frustrated. And I'm just like, you know what? Never mind, never mind. Don't help me. Don't help me. Don't help me. If you do find somebody that's good with cameras and video, please contact that person and let that person help you film because your video is going to be looking really good if that person's helping you. My fourth tip is to plan your videos. You don't need a notebook or whatever. All those fucking beauty gurus are saying, buy yourself a notebook. No, baby. You just need the notes app on your iPhone, okay? That's the way I used to plan my videos. My notes app. You don't really need to write shit down. It's not that serious. And when you're planning, don't really plan what you're gonna say, but plan like what you're gonna talk about and what clips are going to be shown when. That's kind of how I do. And my last tip is to not compare yourself to other people, especially like YouTubers with like thousands, millions of subscribers, you know, because you're just starting out and they've been doing this for like ever you know i don't want this to come out wrong but like don't have high expectations for yourself let's take everything by baby steps and you'll be good so that's basically how i edit my video i hope you guys liked this video i hope it was really informative because i really tried to like explain everything you know so if you do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from me um and i'll see you later bye